What's up everybody, Gerald here and welcome back to a brand new video. We're back out on the bank on Terrafield at Damp Fishing Complex trying to catch a couple of fish. We're going to roll that intro and then I'll show you where we're fishing. <laughs> This is our chosen pig for the day. We've got the lake to ourselves at the minute. We're here in the double. The reason why I've chose this swim is it controls a lot of water. I can see pretty much the whole lake from here as well, including the bowl down to my left. I know for a fact the fish love to hold up on this back bank over here. So that's where both my rods are. Right now we've got one off this tree and one off this tree. They're both about three to two, two to three foot off the bank, I'd say. Um, on the right hand rod we've got a 14 mil cream seed pop up from munch baits and then on the left hand rod we've got the 14 mil cream seed bottom bait and they're both fish with like little tiny stick mix bags on there so hopefully that will get us a bite or two i have been doing a few sessions on here and on gold recently just really short ones not enough to make videos but i've got a few clips which i'm going to throw in for you so you can see what i've been catching hi guys i'm not filming a video today because the weather conditions are not great but We've come up here on the bowl um, in gold and uh, we've got ourselves a lovely fish. Um, when I got up here, all the fish were sitting up in the corner. So I decided to give it a go, even though it was tipping it down rain. And look at this absolute stunner. What a fish. I think this is probably one of the originals. Um, like I say, they didn't really get fish for in here. It's around 14 pounds, a lovely fish. It's not the one that I caught the other day, um, slightly different. It's got a bit of a bulge in it here, but what a fish. Let's get some photos, get it back, and uh, get the rods back out. Happy days. So guys, it's another day and we're back on Golden Peg 1. And we've gone and got ourselves a lovely common of around, again, 14, 15 pounds. Seems to be the average size in here at the minute. A lovely fish, let's get some photos and get it back. So another day, another quick session. We're on the uh, Terrapin. We've got ourselves another lovely fish. It's been tough going today. Not as fast and furious as normal, but I'd say probably another a mid teen maybe. Lovely common carp. We're gonna get some photos, get it back out, see if we get another one. So I was saying it was quiet, so we moved the rods over onto gold. It's taken a couple of minutes. And we got ourselves a nice long common. Maybe about eight, eight to 10 pounds. Happy days. All coming on tiny little pop-ups and uh, some fake call. Let's get it back. We're back down here on gold again. It's the next day from the last clip. Uh, we're right up by the bowl. I've been here probably an hour or so, it's been quite quite a bad one little one. And then the right hand rod has gone off. And we've got ourselves a lovely common here. Oy. A nice long one. I'm going to say it's around 15 pounds. 15 to 16 pounds. It's got quite a bit of weight to it. Quite a lovely fish. As always, let's get those photos and get it back. What's up everyone? We're out here on another lovely little short session. We started over on Terrapin, been over there for probably two hours, not even had a nibble, so I've come over onto gold. The rod's been out half an hour and we've gone and finally got ourselves one of the better fish from here in gold. It's not quite 20 pound, it's around the 18 pound mark, but a lovely fish. Nonetheless, this one fell to two um, orange little toppers that have been in the pineapple goo. Didn't take very long. Let's get some photos. Let's get it back up for you to quickly see. Let's get some photos. And get the rods back out there. Okay, so fish number two. We've actually lost a couple since you saw me last. We've managed to get another one on the bank. It's incredibly lively. It's been sat in the net for a little bit, recouping. Let's see if we can get it up for a picture. 
there you go, nice little slate grey mirror from Gold Lake. Fish number three of the session. We've actually lost yet another one, uh, a couple to be fair. But I think there is, on the left hand rod spot, um, I'm fishing over the top of a bit of a weed bed. And as I'm pull, going to pull them through the weed bed, I think I'm knocking them off. So what I'm going to have to do is hit them and then run up the bank and get up the rod up and above the weed bed. But we've managed to land this one. Go on, Mum, get it, get it, get it, get it. So if you may have just seen from that last clip, got a little bit of madness going on here. The bites are coming thick and fast. We've got two fish now to show you. We'll show you the smaller one, which is the one we just caught when we had the live take on camera. He's lively, he's only a tiny little common, but they all count. Here he is, Wee! Come here. There you go, a pristine little common from gold. And then the other fish that I was trying to show you, a little bit bigger, it's got a bit of ghosty in it. Here he is, another lovely common from Gold Lake. Probably maybe 10 pound, eight to 10 pound. Lovely little bit of ghost in him, it looked great coming through the water. Let's get some pictures and get this one back. So we just had another double take, but I put the small one back because it was only little. And uh, we've got another nice common, probably around 14 pounds. He's, he feels quite heavy, but he's not that big. Let's hold him up. To the camera for you to see. There you go, guys. These are all coming on two little toppers, which I'll show you on the rig in just a minute. Plenty of fish, plenty of bites to be had over here on gold. So, guys, I'm just over here on Club Pond doing a quick couple of hours. Um, I've just had one little one, and then we've gone and got a double take. I've got two fish in one net. I'll put the rods back out and I've got another one. Uh, two really nice fish uh, for this pond. Um, they're, they're quite big ones for in here and then we've got one little one so I'll show you them in just a second. So this is our second fish. Nice little plump common. I put the first one straight back because it was only little but what a lovely little fish. I've got a couple more really good ones to show you now. So let's get this one back because he wants to go back and let's get the bigger two out. So here it is guys, the first of the bigger ones. A lovely common, he's got a bit of tail damage which I'm going to treat before we put him back. But nonetheless, a lovely fish, nice and slimy, he's covered me right in it. But that's what fishing's all about. Let's get some photos, get this one treated and get the other one out and show you. And here it is, the bigger one of the three. This one's got some weight to it. It's got to be nearly 15 pounds, I'd say. It's got, it's quite chunky, it's quite heavy. But happy, good bit of sport. And first few hours of fishing just over here, just giving it a quick go. And I'm happy to get amongst a couple of the bigger ones in the pond. So let's get some photos, get it back, and get the rods back out. It is another day, and we are back out on the bank. I've actually been fishing for about three hours on Terrapin. Um, had the place to myself and a couple of guys have turned up and the way Terrapin's laid out, sometimes people can be fishing quite close to you and unfortunately one of the guys has chosen a pig and he's fishing quite close to me and he's just started spotting the granny out of the lake. So I've really been rosin and gone for a walk thinking, oh, surely I can get on like Basils or Masons because there's three people on gold. I mean, there is room on gold. I'm not really feeling it today. Um, but everywhere's packed. So I'm now walking myself back down to Terrapin. I think I'm just gonna have to sit it out in the first swim on Terrapin by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. Lost one straight away this morning. But I'm now walking back down and people are looking at the spot that I just fed. For God's sake, don't spook them out. Um, but yeah, I'm making my way downtown, moving fast, back to the lake to cast out. <laughs> Thank you. 
So we've got the rods back out. We're in a uh, pit one on Turpin, over in the far bank in the cove. Had a few aborted takes. Um, I don't quite know what's going on. I don't know if I'm fishing in shallow water and they're picking up the bait and being able to flick it out straight away where they're hitting the surface. But after persevering along, we've gone and got a little common. He's not going to behave. It's probably around the eight pound mark. There you go, guys. A nice little common again. It fell to uh, two toppers, critically balanced out there. Let's get some pictures, get the rods back out, see if we can get another one. So, I've been baiting up a swim on gold for a little while, and I thought the time was right to move. It didn't take very long, it's not very big. And well, as always, the small ones are very lively. It's a nice little mirror. That one fell to the cream seed munch bottom bait. We're going to get some photos, get the rod back out on the spot, so we can get another one. So we're into our third fish of the day. It's not a massive one <laughs> by all means. This is the sort of carp I'd be happy to catch on a float, but they all count. He's quite a plump little fella. But he's lively. He is tiny, bless him. Perfection in miniature, as they say. Look at this little guy. Hopefully he grows up to be an absolute whopper. We're not going to get to take a photo of this one, but he is still very lively. Give him 10 years and hopefully he's a 30. Let's get him back in the water. Right guys, we've got to make this quick because the sun is setting and I need to get out of here. Last lock-ins over here on gold. Oh, wow. ah, lovely sunset. My battery's dying on my phone. Let's just get this done. And we've got another double take. Nice. Little common. Just a little one. Another little common. The rigs we're using on this session are the rigs we use every time we go fishing. It's very versatile. Like I say, it's nice and easy to tie. It can be used for bottom baits and pop-ups. Here's one I tied earlier. We've got some 30-pound uh, camo from Corda. I've stripped it back a little bit down the end here, but we'll get there in a second. A little anti-tangle sleeve with a loop knot so we can quickly change the rigs over. Like I say, then we've stripped it back just to down to here. There's a little bit of putty there because this one's a pop-up rig. Now normally I would have a bit of shot there because I really hate using putty, as uh, some of you will know. It's not always the easiest thing to mould, it doesn't stay and it just gets on my nerves and I'd rather use a tiny little shot just to make it sit nicely like this with the pop-up. On this one we've got a size 8, but normally I'd use a size 6 hook, um, I use Gardner Muggers. We've got a little kicker there, and then there's a little micro ring swivel on there, and we bait floss on the bait with a couple of beads just to trap it. And like I say, with the pop-up it just sits like this, bottom bait obviously just sits flat on the bottom. And then we'll put in very small little stick mix, PVA sticks on there. In there we've got some pellet, and um, I've got some... Munch baits, cream seed, stick mix as well. So hopefully that'll do us the trick today. Right, we've gone and got our first fish of the day. I thought it was a little bit bigger than it actually is. I've weighed it. It must be hollow or something because it's only coming up as 14 pound. I would have definitely said it was around the 18 pound mark, um, but we're not going to complain. It's a lovely common, lively. Let's get this fish up. go first fish of the day 14 pound common out of terrapin it fell to the uh, 14 mil munch baits cream seed bottom bait on the rig that we always use nice and simple let's get the rods back out let's get a few pictures see if we can get another one so it's a couple of hours later we've been sitting here relaxing just had a lovely sausage sandwich that my mum bought to me and the right hand rod's gone off which has fallen to the cream seed bottom bait and we've got ourselves another very lively angry common it might just make 10 pounds but nonetheless it's a lovely fish let's get some photos and get it back and get the rod back out there 
it's coming up to two o'clock and when the sun goes away it does get cold the breeze is really quite chilly so what i've done is i've moved down a couple of pegs mainly because i saw some fish showing over on the other bank out in front of peg six um stuck them back out over there but it's been very very quiet even over on gold it's been quiet today the guy that's fishing over there has only had two so all around the complex has been a little bit slow today but that's expected um, the weather's all over the place, I wish it would make its mind up and uh, hopefully then the fish will start feeding a little bit more regularly but we're going to keep on going, seeing if we can get one I might move over onto gold, I'm not too sure I did go and have a little look up in the bowl and I did see a good few fish up there so I might creep up there with a rod in a little bit and see if we can get one from there So guys, that's been quite a hard day's fishing I think I've done my best, I've been bouncing around trying to get a bite um, I fished peg one, six, two on Terrapin and the original two that you've seen in the video since then. And then I've bounced over here onto gold. We've managed to go and get one just as the sun's setting, just before the gates all get locked up. We've got ourselves a nice little mirror to finish the video off with. Is he going to behave? Probably not. There you go, guys. A nice little mirror. Fell to the pop-ups again. So pop-ups have been doing the trick down here recently. Um, as some of you know, I do prefer bottom baits, but I think in this lake at the minute where it's just been freshly dug, just having a pop-up on just gives me that little bit of peace of mind. And it seems to be working. He's turned himself around, so let's get a quick look at this side if he wants to be aid for two seconds. There you go. I'm gonna get some photos, get it back and then uh, get all packed up and get ourselves off home. This is the end of the video. Hopefully I'll be back out on the bank soon. But until then, tight lines, wet nets, I'll see you all soon.